एवरीवन आई एम हियर टुडे विद वन ऑफ द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक कॉल्ड ब्लड शुगर एंड इम्यूनिटी सो वन ऑफ द अंडर एस्टिमेटेड एंड रेयरली डिस्कस चैलेंजिंग एंड दैट कैन इम्पे द इम्यून सिस्टम इज पुअर ब्लड शुगर कंट्रोल सो वेर डज दिस ब्लड शुगर कम फ्रॉम ऑल द डाइटिक कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स यू ईट आर ब्रोकन डाउन इन टू देयर कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट शुगर्स बोथ द अनप्रोसेस्ड फूड लाइक स्टार्च बीन्स पल्सेस as well as those the from the obviously added sugars like cakes pastries and sweets ultimately a wide variety of foods but the type and amount can make a huge difference if you are controlling blood sugars well you start with a low blood sugar after eating there is rise in blood sugar as the food is absorbed it should go down back to the baseline through the action of insulin this stops the blood sugar hanging around too long and limits the glycation so why don't we want uh, the sugars in our blood for too long we don't want sugars hanging about in our blood for too long because had it sticks to the process called as glycation so what does glycation does it changes the function of proteins in our bodies including the immune cell receptors antibodies doesn't work so the glycation is also associated with oxidative stress and inflammation which adds to the wear and tear on our body abnormal blood sugar response will see a higher than normal rise in blood sugar followed by an hypoglycemia or low blood sugar so which makes you feel tired and hungry so this blood sugar roller coaster keeps on occurring over a time if this continues insulin becomes less effective you need more insulin to be produced and then the blood sugar levels remain higher for a longer period there are ways to measure this blood sugar for example fasting blood sugar hba1c test post eating blood sugar or continuous blood sugar monitoring but if this is not accessible to you then start considering how you feel in the hours after eating different food try as many foods you can but come to an conclusion as soon as possible as well as the diet our genes microbiome age body composition prescription drugs lifestyle factors like sleep stress activity levels all play into the blood sugar equation one of the very, very major factor which plays an important role in blood sugar is stress yes uh, stress molecules such as adrenaline noradrenaline mobilizes the stored blood sugar from your cells into our blood so this triggers the insulin to do its job but the stress hormone cortisol inhibits the insulin from moving blood sugar back into our cells and movement keep moving your bodies this is an established theory that moving your bodies helps the insulin sensitivity even in the absence of insulin there is a mechanism that blood sugar is absorbed by the muscle the major factor being sleep poor sleep can decrease insulin sensitivity and can wreak the havoc on your stress chemistry and hunger and make you or towards the or we eating and reach for the wrong foods what about nutrients especially the chromium which is an essential trace mineral that contributes to the normal metabolism of food and supports the action of insulin helping to regulate the normal blood sugar levels coenzyme q10 which is a vitamin like compound which is found in the mitochondria it is important for specially maintaining the blood sugar and has an antioxidant properties magnesium which supports the chemical reaction involved in the sugar metabolism and it is a key to stress management and also to the good sleep so these are the vitamins which need to be remembered so you might have heard about this well saying that we are what we eat right but it's not just what we eat right everyone's blood sugar changes after they eat but we can work to maintain a healthy blood sugar response although it is not just about what we eat as well as the diet our genes age body composition prescription drugs as well as the lifestyle factors like sleep stress activity all play an important role in the blood sugar equation according to the late, latest research which tells us that there is no one size fits for all approach in fact we all respond slightly different to the same foods like due to the combination of genes lifestyle and predominantly our gut microbes so the bottom line on blood sugar and immunity 
before you embark on a drastic low carb diet first try to become an expert in your own so body take a honest look at your food choices and how you feel in the hours after eating lean towards minimally processed foods that includes healthy fats proteins fibers with each meal don't forget about the stress gut health exercise and sleep too because these also play an important factor in keeping and maintaining your blood sugars so did you guys know that your blood sugar could be impacting in your immune system if yes let me know in the comment section below thank you